Hey everybody, David here. Happy uh, June 1st, 2011. Well, Harrow Camping is at it again. Kind of like um, a cockroach when they hide and then all of a sudden they, they come out. Harrow Camping's come out again um, from hiding. This time on Memorial Day, I've got the article in the drop down below. Um, he still insists that on May 21st the rapture occurred, but it was a spiritual rapture. So why are we still here, Harold? Why are those that are saved still here? Um, but now I get this. Here's his new prediction. And you know, what happened to the earthquake? Because his new prediction doesn't mention an earthquake this time. Did the earthquake come and we all missed it? Uh, I don't recall an earthquake, Harold. October 21st, get this and you're going to love it. Um, the graves are going to be thrown open. And all those unsaved, whether they're bones or whatever is left of the bodies in the grave. They're going to be flung out on the ground so they can be shamed in front of God. So God himself is coming down and going to look at all these dead bodies. Um, they're going to be presented in front of God like manure. That's what he says. If you're a sinner, you died and you're in the grave on October 21st, you're going to be presented like manure. Um, what about those that are, uh, that died in Christ and they're saved? Are they just going to float on up to heaven and uh, wait for God to come back up and meet them? Harold, Harold, Harold. And then he goes on to talk about the, it was a Memorial Day when he came out, um, of hiding. The U.S. soldiers that, that died in battle, um, but they weren't saved. They're going to be flung out and presented like manure too. Now, I got a question for you, Harold. Say you're a sinner and you die, um, but you're not buried in the traditional sense. Uh, your family chose cremation. What's going to happen to them? A bunch of ashes going to trickle down out of the sky? Explain that one, Harold. <laughs> I, you know, folks, um, I really don't know. Uh, all the people that spent so much money, I guess you could uh, take the man to court and try to retrieve your money or maybe criminal charges filed. You know he'd get off um, incompetent to stand trial. Um, I know he's up in years, but uh, I'm starting to wonder now. Um, you know, keep your faith in your Father in Heaven. Don't buy into this. I'm going to put the link below for you. Read the article. Uh, don't be taken in. Anymore, anyone, please. Um, keep your faith in what the Bible says. Keep your faith in Yahweh. God bless.